Western Kentucky looking for its 20th win of the season against the University of Louisiana Lafayette's Ragin' Cajuns, who for the first time this year are seeking their third straight win. The defensive transition once again to Bianca McGee. Jovan Ooh, swings it the to the outside, and McGee off the window scores. Couple of buckets for that young lady, Veal. But WKU comes right back. And stroking that one is McGee. That's her second. Their school's pole vault record. That's what Gary Broadhead did. He was a, a pole vaulting star here at ULL. I bet he's the only one in the country. And there is the first three-pointer of the game by Shembo. Jones leaning over the dribble, tries to use a pick, but it's cut off. Back to the top, the three-pointer rattles and goes. He had 17 points, four rebounds, and five assists in the first game between these teams before fouling out. This for three, and it's banked in. Oh, my, it's all going right for Govan. <laughs> Shambo is one for ten tonight. Two lady toppers hit the deck, and then a three ball is tossed in by Jones. If, if they're looking to, if they need to score a three-point shot, Western Kentucky, they're going to try to set Micah Jones up for that shot. That's her 27th of the season. How about that? Shambo from way back has her second three. Understand why she started some games early on in the season, getting her confidence back. Here's a three tossed oh, in by Kofi. At this stage of the game for both coaches, what they need their teams to do is continue to well, hit shots like that and also run their offenses. And there it is. So WKU comes from Bowling Green, Kentucky and picks up the victory over Louisiana Lafayette. It's win number 20 for the toppers. Louisiana Lafayette's bid at winning three in a row for the first time this year does not come to fruition.